Alright, so family, we're continuing in from uh, this uh, part of the fort, and we're going to check out the rest of the chambers as this the fort has been modified as the Gori Museum. And this ship is. But well, unfortunately, this is a lot of colonial history, but it just shows you the perpetrators of the transatlantic European slave trade. This is this documented history, and it's uh, what it is, and we have to educate and empower ourselves to put ourselves in the greatest and best position to make sure that uh, we, you know, these things never happen to our people again, no matter where we are as a people. So we're starting from the foundation family. We're reconnecting you to, you know. The line is 346. Yeah, the boat leave at 430. Matthew at 430, and you're going to hear the mm -hmm. Okay. If you don't hear that, we're, we're good. Are you ready? Uh, no, we have to. You can go up to the top also. So we're going to. Once you hear the mm -hmm, now you have a good uh, 10 minutes to get to the boat area. So family, these are the chambers here in the Gori Museum. And this seems to have been the last, or maybe it's another connecting point because it goes around. All right. So originally we started with one, and we went all the way around. Son, how was up there? It was nice and cool? How was up there? <laughs> Can you put this right there for me? Leave it right there. It's right there on the side. Yeah, I know it's a whole lot of chamber. Now you're finally out so you can get some air because after a while you get busy in there. Uh, and and this is a walking tour on Gori Island, so you're gonna get a nice exercise. This is where the cannons are. Yes, family, this is where the cannons be. And this is the view I mentioned you can see from the rest of Gori Island. Uh, that was the statue that we started with. Breaking the chains. And that's what we do in family. We're reconnecting and breaking the chains. So these people don't play around, they literally have cannons. Or I should say these devils don't play around, they, should li they literally have cannons on all angles. So whatever ship is coming out, good luck, they're gonna blow you out of the water. Now these devils had it planned out. This wasn't a mistake or accident or something that just worked out the way it worked out. It's, these are organizational plans to dominate the transatlantic European slave trade, to dominate our people to put themselves in a situation where they're just a dominant people. 
So that's what we're dealing with, family. We are conquered by a race of devils. Yeah? So wherever I've been to in Africa, we have shown you the history, the culture and ways of, so shown you the documentation. And then from the documentation and energy, and that's another part of Gori that we uh, go up to, which is the very, very high point. And you can see out all over, so. And as soon as our boat comes, our ship comes, our ferry boat comes, we are gonna head back to Dakar and uh, head to our hotel in Al Madiz. And that will be the completion of two days and then we'll be back for two more days, family. City tour and Pink Lake tour slash four by four ride to the sand dunes not too far from Pink Lake yes Mr. Bomani I, ho I hope you have learned a whole lot uh, this time and the last time that you're here in Gori Island did you? Mm -hmm. do you feel empowered do you feel educated yes. now they teach about this history in school yes they don't te do you they really teach about Senegal and Gori Island yes I know we learned about Senegal all right cool so yes, son, so when they're talking in class, you raise your hand and say, yeah, I've been there. I can, I can share some information with you. You look serious, big guy. <laughs> uh, yes, when other white European devils will come and try to take over. Say, example, if this was controlled by the uh, French, then if the British was coming, they'll blow the British out of the water. So they're just uh, white European devils fighting each other for control of black slavery and black uh, labor. So to get right to the point and I've been to several of these here uh, in different countries uh, whether it's uh, Ghana, Togo, Benin or I should say Ghana, Benin we have seen the same thing uh, definitely when you get to um, the Gambia in a few days and we go out to Kunta Kente Island and also when we go out to uh, Jufri you know, you're gonna see remnants of uh, the same struggle um, there So family, if you want to know what's on the other side of Gori Island, this is the part where a lot of times people don't come, but this is a continuation and a display of the history of Gori Island and the transatlantic European slave trade. Let's keep it strong. Because if anybody came to save these people, they would kill them. Nobody was attacking them, but there were some tribes in Africa. Mr. Bomani, that like, tell Mr. Bo Bomani, the car, how you feeling, son? Yeah. Excellent, excellent, don't move. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. I've told you, do Vamos a ver esto. You worked with me for seven years. Mr. Bomani, there you go. Turn back around now. Say hello to everybody. All right. So, how you feel going to you know traveling to Africa for the last ten years and learning about all this history and culture? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel educate, educated? Say yes, yes. You, you're confident, right? All right, man. This is a big boy, Bomani Dakari. You know, he's been rolling with me from two years old to twelve now, ten straight years, all over all the countries that we have literally had on the schedule. Only country that I, unfortunately, he couldn't travel with us to was Ethiopia and Brazil. And that was in 2017. The world is Africa. So family, we will reconnect with you on the journey of a lifetime. I'm gonna close out here in Gori Island and head back to our ferry boat that would take us to Dakar and take us to our hotel so we can relax, kick back for a little bit and then enjoy a beautiful tropical dinner right on the, uh, right on the peninsula or right, you know, 
right on the ocean.